And a judge told him to count the trees in the parking lot where there were only cars. Zero. The same number of stars you could see on a night in the city. And a judge told him the parking lot would be crowded with trees, oaks and spruces and pines and willows and grass and maybe horses before he smells the city on a Sunday afternoon. And another word for this story is Azalea, the purple bouquet his mother might have buried her face against had she known for this judge sentence and fetch was a funeral, a mourning, another purplish bruise. Fats pled not guilty, which is to say he has never murdered a man. And in the courtroom, he washed his hands against the air as if to say, fuck everything. Imagine, no hair troubled his face that afternoon, and he never held a razor, except inside his mouth. The best weapon a man could hope for, unless you were the cat I saw tussle for a second with a Louisville slugger. Turning a razor under that man's tongue into a kind of prayer. His hands leaping to his face and blood appearing as if always there. And the man's hands fumbling against the air as if ablution could be found drenched in blood. And remembering reminds me that Fats washing was a kind of holy, a plea, a reaching for trees. For wild horses, for all the violence he's known to make of him free when innocence failed.